All right, to start our design, I'm going to add a text box. And then I'm going to type in my text. The, um, I want all of these letters to be in all caps, so I'm going to click on the more button, click on the lowercase and uppercase A, and then it will change every letter in that text box to so either uppercase or lowercase. And for right now, I'm just going to make it about this size. And then I do want to um, make the letters just a little close together like that. And then I want to add a rectangle behind this box. I'm sorry, behind this text. So I'm just going to position it how I want. Mm. and then change the color to black. That means that I need to change the text color. So I'm going to click on the text box. You can't see it right now because the letters are black, but um, you can change the text color by clicking on this A and this rainbow with this rainbow bar underneath it. And then you can see that the text box is in front, is positioned in front of the rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and group this together for right now and just position it in the middle. And then I'm going to move on to the next line of text. Um, I'll, you can hit the letter T on your key, keyboard to insert a text box. That's a keyboard shortcut for you. And then I'm going to type in my next line. I don't want it in the script. I want all of my text to be the same font, which is Open Sans. That's the default text that Canva gives you. And then I want all of the letters to be um, uppercase. So let me space it together just a little bit more. I mean, just a little bit like I did the word success. And then I'm going to make it smaller so that it lines up. Um, another tip to make sure that your elements in text boxes are lined up is to use a line guide. So if you go up to file, show rulers, show guides, and then just drag your mouse to this ruler on the side, you can drag this line over and then you can see it will mark your text boxes to line up. Um, what I'm going to do is kind of resize this box just a little bit so it's not so much um, black showing. I want it to be an even amount. Okay, then I'll group it back and then bring it to line up with the second line of text. All right, moving on to the next one. I'm going to duplicate this because I mean, I'm using the same font and I'm using all caps. So I'm just going to duplicate that text box. I want to make this a little bigger than the second line. And then same thing, the spacing to be just a little bit, just for right now, I may have to adjust it some more. And then I'm going to duplicate this. And now I can see that I do need to make it a little smaller. Because I do want all of this to be underneath. I mean, I'm sorry, within the 
frame. And the reason why I did this word rinse it separately is because I'm going to make it match the word success. So I'm going to add a rectangle. behind the word rented. Um, when you're dragging, you can see that the dotted lines popped up. That's also helping you to make sure that it's aligned up there. So that's another helpful tip. And then you can also use the arrows on your keyboard to scooch. <laughs> your text over a little bit if you don't want to drag it with um, the mouse. So, let's see. I want to make sure the spacing is appropriate. Uh, for example, like right here in between this box and this line, that space, I want it to be even on both ends. And I also want the same size font. So I'm going to do 72. Make sure this is also 72. And then I can go ahead and change this to white. And then this to black. Hmm. I might bring this down a little. Okay, looks good. I'm going to move on to the next line. Make sure it's all aligned. And then I'm just going to duplicate this word success. Okay, you see that the word every day is longer than the word success. So the A and the Y went down to the second line. And so I would have to change this font size to something smaller. Um, I like to use the mouse to drag it, so I need to ungroup it from the black box so that I'm only resizing the text box, not the black box, because I want the black box to be in line with this word success. So that's what I'm going to do. I might just go ahead and do 83. Nope, okay, 83 is too big. All right. Hmm. So I wonder if I should. Yes, with design, you're going to do lots of adjusting until you get to a place where you're happy with how it looks. So I'll probably let me move this out and look at it. Okay. So I'm going to use this line to check both sides. Everything is aligned over there. I'm going to drag it over to make sure that it's aligned over here. It looks good. So pretty much done with that part. I'm just going to add some elements around the text just to give it some, um, some more extraness. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do quotations and look for the one that I want. I like this one. So I'm going to grab that. I'm moving it out the way because I don't want to accidentally move any of the text. And then I'll resize to Maybe about that size is fine. And change it to black. Duplicate that. Put it over here, but I'm going to have to flip it 
So you can flip your elements by clicking on the element and then clicking flip. Um, I might make it a smaller, a little bit smaller. Move it over. Yeah, that looks good. I want to make sure it's the same size, so I'm going to just duplicate it and flip it again. And then I'm going to add some corners. I'll like an angle. Let's see. Move this out the way so I can grab just that. And then I don't like this rounded edge right here so I'm just going to crop it so that this rounded part is not showing and that it is more of a blunt square because this is how I have the um, the boxes it's not rounded corners oops and then I'm just going to position it how I want And then, once again, duplicate this. I'm going to put it in this corner. I'm going to flip it vertically and then horizontally. Or actually, I probably could have just done horizontal. And then, let's see, one more. I'm going to add a line. So a keyboard shortcut is the letter L. If you hit L on your keyboard, it'll give you a line. And then here you can adjust the weight of the line and the length of it. I'm just going to make it a little thicker to match this. And then also see this is rounded on the edges. I'm going to change it to that so it's a blunt edge. And I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Actually, I just want to underline the word day. All right, so I'm going to highlight all of it. Make it a little big so when I download it, it takes up almost the whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and put it on a mock-up tee. Let's see. Orders. I'm going to make this a, a men's shirt. So I'll put it on this right here. All right, highlight this whole thing again. Control C to copy, excuse me, Control V to paste, and then resize it. Put on the T, and that is pretty much it.